One year ago today, Haley G. Hoover posted a video simply titled 2009, where she ate her 50th Chipotle burrito and talked about things that came to mind when she thought of 2009. I don't have any Chipotle burritos. Nor do I have the actual thing that I wanted to eat today while I made this video. It's also right before work. But I'm going to do the same thing, only I'm going to eat cream cheese with bagels. Well, bagels with cream cheese. Whatever. Lactate. <sighs> Let's get started. So basically I'll be just listing random things that come to mind as I think about 2010. Hmm. Joining your taco community only to halfway regret it because of the drama that surrounds it. Only to remember all the friends that I've made and the amazing friendships that I've created. I'm realizing there's nothing to regret. Hanging out with Kyle at Anime Detour until 4 a.m. on Saturday into Sunday. Doing a live show through Ustream on his iPhone. Acting completely drunk, but we were totally sober. Being completely stressed out on Friday of Anime Detour because I had to run two panels on the same day and neither one of them were even halfway finished. The Otaku collaboration channel boom where only a few survived. The one I created is one of them. Speaking of the drama, Zero X Requiem. I don't think I need to say anything more than that. Searching endlessly for a job only to finally be employed at the end of 2010. At a job that I applied to like eight months ago. Reapplying to PetSmart only to be called the very next day for an interview. And going for a drug test the very next day and being hired the very next day after that and then starting the very next day after that Yomacon 2010 being the best convention ever going to see house with Colleen and her friends during Yomacon 2010 and realizing that the Japanese are really weird hanging out with Bradswell doing completely nothing just talking and then watching him obsess over this big monster thing at Yomacon 2010. Sneaking on my dad's computer just to do YouTube videos was really difficult some days. Finally getting a real camera versus having to use my dad's webcam. My computer crapping out on me twice this year when I'm trying to make vlogs every single day. Being at Mall of America with Anna and Tom planning out our one of our you, you one of our uh, anime detour panels, only to find out when I got home that Anna and I were only five minutes away from watching somebody jump to their death. Making a an exchange with Yokrama just so I can get the Death Note mangas, and then getting a package from Kyo Chan because she's just that awesome. Getting Dylan into Gundam Wing, Gundam Double O, When They Cry, Samurai Deeper Kyo the Manga, Rene, Codebreaker, as well as now and then here and there throughout the year. And I also plan on getting him in really into the Soul Taker now that he owns it. Obsessing over Gundam Double O so much that most of my otaku friends are thinking about watching it. Mm, getting into Gundam Double O. And originally watching the first disc going, hey, this is a pretty cool series. And by the end of it, completely obsessing and having it be my favorite anime series of all time. Watching the zero episodes of Gundam Wing while Dylan was watching the first season ob so obsessively that I'm almost sick of them. Rewatching Gundam Wing two times in one year. The trip to Colorado being totally amazing and realizing that I want to wake up to mountains every single day. The year of garage sales where I uh, hosted five garage sales in one summer so that I could go to Toronto for uh, Fan Expo Canada and then not being able to go. So I used that money for Yomacon and Dakota being the funniest damn man may have ever seen in my entire life. Oh, getting Dylan into that too. Realizing that sci-fi cuts way, way too much out of Gundam 00 for you to watch successfully on TV. Being totally confused when I started when I started watching the last 
three episodes on YouTube legally because of sci-fi. Rewatching Descendants of Darkness for the very first time in uh, like three years and realizing that Liam O'Brien sucks. No offense if you like him. Getting my mom into anime altogether. Sustain the industry. All the drama that surrounds sustain the industry. Doubling my manga collection. Finding half price books because of K. Starting the two random geeks with K. Starting something new otaku with Dylan. Starting my web series finally, which I still need to make a new episode of that. Speaking of which, K, let's get to work on the on the two random geeks. Realizing that no matter what, I can be successful, no matter how crazy the goal seems, whether it be making a YouTube video every day for one whole year or getting a Canadian visa to move to Vancouver to chase my dreams, knowing that no matter what happens and no matter how difficult it is in the meantime, no matter how many times I want to give up, I can achieve anything.